Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about homeostasis, the process that keeps our body balanced. For your body to remain alive, it must constantly monitor both its internal and external environment and make the appropriate adjustments. Homeostasis keeps the body balanced or in equilibrium. It is maintained through feedback loops. They are negative feedback loops and positive feedback loops. A negative feedback is when the body senses something is out of equilibrium. In other words, if a level is too high, the body does something to bring it down. Conversely, if a level is too low, the body does something to raise it. Hence the term negative feedback. For example, hyperthermia. Your body temperature begins to rise. Your body will begin sweating to cool down your body. Can you think of other negative feedback loops? Here are a couple more examples. Hypothermia is when the body cools down too much. Your gl blood glucose level, which is how much sugar is in our blood, and our blood pressure needs to be maintained around 120 over 80. Let's talk about hypothermia. Your body temperature begins to cool down. You will begin shivering to warm up your muscles. Blood glucose level. When you have eaten, blood glucose levels rise, which is sensed by the nervous system. Specialized cells in the pancreas sense the increase, releasing the hormone insulin. And blood pressure. If your pressure is too high or too low, the brain notifies your body to change the diameter of your blood vessels. Let's talk about some positive feedback loops. A positive feedback loop maintains the direction of the stimulus and possibly accelerates it. Can you think of a positive feedback loop? First, childbirth. The continued contraction of the uterus during childbirth. As you can see, for optimum functioning, your body needs to be in balance through homeostasis mechanisms. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.